Hi there, this is Carl the Landscape Guy. Today we're in New England and I have a small vacation project. Because what's a good vacation without some work? So today I'm replacing the mailbox at my vacation home. As you can see, this is actually quite necessary. I've noticed that this plastic base doesn't hold up long and there isn't a proper foundation. This is the new mailbox that is going to be used. And there's a compatible post for it as well. The mailbox and post are completely made of metal and powder coated. So first this plastic post needs to come out. Next the old ground support must be removed. Therefore I dig down into the topsoil a bit. Then it can be pulled out easily. Now we dig a little deeper because this hole will also be where we put the foundation for the new post. The topsoil here in New England contains a lot of rocks. But the hole is quickly dug up. There's two big rocks at the bottom of this hole but we'll just put the foundation right on top of them. Now let's unpack the new post. It comes in two parts and next we will concrete the lower part in place. We mark the level of the terrain with a piece of tape on the post so that the mailbox has the right height afterwards. And later it'll go in sort of like this. So now we need water for our pre-mixed concrete and we'll just mix it in this old wheelbarrow top. I let the mixture soak with water for like 2 minutes, which makes it easier to stir. We use Quickrete 5000, which hardens quickly and has bits of stone and gravel mixed in. I really like the mixed in gravel because the larger broken up stones give the concrete a higher strength. This is already noticeable when mixing it up. Now we pour half of the mixture into our foundation hole. I set the post and press a few stones around the post. That's how you can stabilize the post with a more liquid mixture and it can then harden by itself. The rest of the concrete is poured over the stones and the post is straightened with the help of a magnetic spirit level. Then stamp the concrete nicely for it to become much harder later. So we let the new foundation harden for at least 24 hours. I screw the new mailbox onto the mounting plate. When the concrete is hardened, the second part of the post can be connected and secured with a few hits of a hammer. The mailbox and mount can now be inserted and screwed onto the height adjustment clamp.
There's also an end cap for the square post. The mailbox is completely assembled. Now I want to make the concrete foundation disappear. Therefore it's important that you stay below the topsoil level when laying the concrete foundation. I try to shape the topsoil nicely around the post. Now I bring in some wheat free topsoil. You can also use potting soil. I'm planting three yellow autumn chrysanthemums around the post. But you can plant whichever flowers or plants you like. I cut a piece of weed barrier fabric so that it fits around the plants. At the end I add some light colored marble rock. The fabric not only inhibits weeds but also protects the soil from drying out and from pushing the marble rock into the dirt. It's similar to a tree ring by reducing maintenance as it is now easier to mow the yard without bumping into the new post. The light colored stones provide a nice light dark contrast to the mailbox. And the seasonal plants really tie it all together. If you would like to set up your mailbox this way, have a look at the video description. There you will find links to products and materials used in this video. I hope you enjoyed my little holiday project. I had fun in any case. Take a look at my channel for more videos about gardening and landscaping. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time. This is Carl the Landscape Guy.